Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of the jazz standard Autumn Leaves. So let's get into it. So this arrangement is in the key of B minor and we are in standard tuning. All the tabs for this lesson are available on my Patreon page. You can check out the link down below. So to start off, I'm going to show you all the chords and then I'm going to show you all the rest of the parts. So the first chord that we have is an E minor 7. Where we have the open low E string first. Then we have the 2nd fret of the A string, 2nd fret of the D string, open G string, open B string, and the 3rd fret of the high E string. So you play it starting from the low E string all the way up to the high E string. Like that. And then you have an A7 chord which sounds like this. Where you have the open A string, 2nd fret of the D string, open G string, and the 2nd fret of the B string. So there on the right hand you're playing the A string, D string, G string and the B string. After that you have a D major 7 chord which sounds like this. Where you bar across the 2nd fret of the G string, B string and the high E string. And you also play the open D string. So you're playing the D string, G string, B string and the high E string. Like that. The next chord that you have is a G major chord. It's actually a part of a G major chord. So it sounds like this. Where you're only playing the third fret of the low E string there. And you also have the open G string and the open B string. And after that you have a C sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord which is like this. It's very easy, you're just playing the 4th fret of the A string, 5th fret of the D string, 4th fret of the G string, and the 5th fret of the B string. So you're just playing 4, 5, 4, 5. So there you're just playing the A string, D string, G string, and the B string. And the next chord that you have is an F sharp 7 chord, which is like this. Where you have to play the 2nd fret of the lower E string with the thumb the 2nd fret of the D string with the index finger and your ring finger plays the 3rd fret of the G string. So with the right hand you're just playing the low E string, D string and the G string together. Like that. And after that the last chord is just a regular B minor chord. You have the 2nd fret of the A string, 4th fret of the D string, 4th fret of the G string, then the 3rd fret of the B string and the 2nd fret of the high E string with the bar. Like that. So if you go over the chords again, we start with the E minor 7, then we have an A7, then we have a D major 7, then the G major chord, C sharp minor 7 flat 5, F sharp 7, and then B minor. So the first verse and the second verse are exactly the same. The only difference in between these is just the ending part. So let's start with the first verse, it sounds like this. So you start off with this little phrase. Where you play the open B string first and then you hammer on onto the 2nd fret of the B string. Then you play the 3rd fret of the B string. And then you play the 3rd fret of the high E string. And then you have the E minor 7 chord. So you start by playing the low E string. And then you have this. So there you have to ring the chord with a slap. So if you don't know that technique, you're using the tip of the nail of your index finger to ring the chord first, like that. You're using this motion. And at the same time, you're hitting the lower strings with the thumb to get the percussive sound. So you're doing both of them together at the same time to get that. So you get this. First you play the low E string which is open. And then you ring the chord with the slap. One more time. So there what you need to play on the E minor 7 chord sounds like this. 
So you start by playing the low E string first and then you ring the chord with the slap. And then you play the A string and then the D string. And then you ring the chord with the slap again. So the whole thing really slow sounds like this. So from the start you have this. And after that you have this part. So there from the E minor 7 chord you lift this note up to play the open A string. And then you quickly change to the A7 chord. Where you now plug the A string, G string and the B string together. So if you play it from the E minor 7 chord it sounds like this. And after that you have this part. So there right after you reach this part, you have to ring the chord with a slap. And then you have this part. Where you start by playing the note on the second fret of the G string. And then you play the open B string. And then you play the second fret of the B string there with the slap. So the whole thing sounds like this. And when you change to the D major 7 chord, you start by playing this note on the high E string. And then you play this. Where you play the open D string and then you ring the chord with a slap. So from the last part it sounds like this. So from the very beginning till here you have this. And then you have this part. So on the D major 7 chord right after you played this, you have this part now. Where you play the D string, G string and then you ring the chord. And then you play the D string again. So the whole thing sounds like this. And then you change to the G major chord. So there you're playing the 3rd fret of the low E string and you're playing the open G and B string together. So there on the G major chord you need to play this. So there right after you plug the chord, you have to slap while letting the higher string still ring. And then you have this melody. So there you start by playing the 3rd fret of the low E string. Then you play the 2nd fret of the G string. And then you play the 4th fret of the G string with the slap. And then you play the 5th fret of the B string. So you get this. So the entire part on the G major chord sounds like this. And after that you have this part. So there you change to the C sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord where you have this part. So you start by playing the A string, the root note there on the 4th fret of the A string. And then you ring the chord with the slap. And then you play the A string and then the D string. And then you ring the chord with the slap again. So you get this. And then you play the bass note again on the A string. So you get this. And then you change to the F sharp 7 chord. So right after you arrived on the F sharp 7 chord. Like that. You just ring the chord, you just, you just plug the chord once. And then you slap. And then you have this melody. 
So there you start by playing the note on the 4th fret of the D string, then the 1st fret of the G string, then you have to play this note on the 3rd fret of the G string with the slap, and then you play the note on the 3rd fret of the B string. So the whole thing sounds like this. So there while you're holding on to that last note, you change to the B minor chord. So the whole thing sounds like this. And on the B minor chord you have to play this. So there on the B minor chord you have this. Where you play the bass note on the A string and then you ring the chord with the slap. And after that you have this. Where you play the A string and then the D string. Then you ring the chord and then you play the B string. So far you have this. And to end you just play this. Where you play the bass note and then you ring the chord with the slap. But you keep it short, you mute it there. Like that. So the whole thing sounds like this. So that's the whole first verse. I'll play that again from the start. It sounds like this. After that you have the second verse which is exactly the same but only the ending is different. So it sounds like this. So right after you reach the F sharp 7 chord, you have this part now. So there after you played the F sharp 7 chord and after you played the slap after that then you have this melody. So there you have to add this note on the 2nd fret of the B string and then you play the open high E string. Then you move this note to the 3rd fret of the B string and then you play the note on the 4th fret of the G string. So you get this. And again you have to play the third note there with the slap. Like that. So you get this. And after that you change the chord to a B minor. And you play the part that you played before in the ending of the first verse. So I'll play the whole thing from the F sharp 7 chord again. It sounds like this. So if I play the whole second verse from the start, it sounds like this. And after that we have the chorus which sounds like this. So the very first bit sounds like this. So you start playing this part right after you play that last B minor chord from the second verse. So it sounds like this. So 
So from the last B minor chord, you already have your little finger on the fourth fret of the G string. So now all you have to do is this. So you play this note on the fourth fret and slide down to the third fret. And then you bring it back up to the fourth fret and you play the note with a slap. Like that. And after that you have this part. So right after you played this part, you have to play this. Where you're playing the second fret of the B string and the fourth fret of the D string now. So you have to hold them both down together. And you play the B string, then the D string, then the B string again. So the whole thing sounds like this. One more time, really slow. And after that you change to the C sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord like this. So right after you played this, you just move this finger up to the 5th fret of the D string and you move these two notes in from the C sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord. So now you have this, you have those three notes and you play this. So you slap and ring the chord and then you play the B string again. Like that. So far you have this. And then you move the bass note in on the 4th fret of the A string and now you have this part. So there you're playing... You're playing the A string then the D string. Then you slap and ring the chord. And then you play the bass note again. So the whole thing sounds like this. So now you have this part. So there you start with the F sharp 7 chord and you have this. So you start by plucking the chord, you pluck the E string, D string and the G string together and then you slap. And then you have this melody. So there you have the second fret of the B string. You play the note and pull off to the open B string. And then you bring that note back in and you play that with the slap. Like that. So the whole thing sounds like this. And after that you change to this chord. So there you have a B minor 7 chord which sounds like this. You have the 2nd fret of the A string, the open D string, the 2nd fret of the G string and the 3rd fret of the B string there. Like that. So what you need to play sounds like this. So there you start by playing this note on the 3rd fret of the B string once. And then you kind of play the same thing that you played on the B minor chord. Like that. So from the start till this point we have this. And after that we have this part. So the last thing that he played on the B minor chord sounds like this. And then you have this part. So there you bring in this note on the 2nd fret of the B string. And then you play this note on the 3rd fret and pull off to the 2nd fret. And then you bring this note back in and you play that with a slap. Like that. So the whole thing sounds like this. I'll play that one more time really slow. And then you shift to this chord. So there you start by playing this note on the 3rd fret of the high E string. And then you play this. Which is exactly like before the part that you played where you changed from the E minor chord to the A7. So right after you play the A7 chord, you slap. And then you have this melody. So 
So you play the 2nd fret of the G string first, then you play the 5th fret of the high E string, then you play the 3rd fret, and then you play the 2nd fret. So you get this. And this note on the 3rd fret, this one you have to play it with the slap. Like that. So the entire part on the A7 sounds like this. And after that you have this part on the D major 7 chord. Which is exactly the same right hand pattern that he played on the B minor 7 chord. And after that you have this part. So there you're playing the open D string first. Then you play this note on the 5th fret of the B string. And then you lift it up to ring the chord with a slap. One more time really slow. So the whole part on the D major 7 chord sounds like this. And if I play the whole thing till here from the A7 chord, it sounds like this. After that you have this part. So there you're using a different version of the C sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord. So instead of playing it like that, you're moving this note up an octave to here. To that one. So you're playing this now. So there you have the 4th fret of the A string, the 4th fret of the G string, the 5th fret of the B string and the 3rd fret of the high E string. So you're plucking the A string, G string, B string and the high E string together. Like that. So what you need to play sounds like this. So you start by plucking the whole chord first. And then you plug just the G string, B string and the high E string. And then you slap. And then you remove this note and you just plug this part. So you're plucking the A string, the G string and the B string. And then you just plug this part. And then you slap. So I'll play the whole thing again slowly. One more time. And then you change to this chord. So the next part sounds like this. So there you start with the F sharp 7 chord and now you're also playing this note there. So you have this. You're playing the 2nd fret of the low E string, the 2nd fret of the D string, the 3rd fret of the G string and the 2nd fret of the B string. So you start by playing this. So you plug the chord first and then you slap and then you play the bass note on the low E string. And after that you play this note on the 3rd fret of the high E string and then you slap immediately after that. So the whole thing sounds like this. One more time really slow. And after that you have this part. So right after you played this, after that you play this note on the 2nd fret of the high E string with the bar of the B minor chord. So you start by plucking the high E string first and then you play the same right hand pattern that you played on the B minor 7 chord previously. And after that you have this part. So there the bass note walks down from the B minor chord to the G7 chord there. So the last thing that he played on the B minor chord sounds like this. And after that you have this part. Where you play the note on the 2nd fret of the A string. Then you have the open A string. And then you have this chord which is a G7 chord. It's actually the same chord as the F sharp 7. But this time you're playing it like this, because you need to play the melody on top. So you're playing the 3rd fret of the low E string, the 3rd fret of the D string, and the 4th fret of the G string there. 
So you have this. So from the B minor chord you have this. And after that you have this part. So right after you played the G7 chord, then you have this melody on top, where you play the 4th fret of the G string first, then you play the 5th fret of the B string, and then you play the 3rd fret of the B string. So you get this, and you have to play that while holding the chord, and then you change to the F sharp 7 chord, with this note on the 2nd fret of the B string, and then you have this part. So there in the end you plug the F sharp 7 chord once. So you plug the low E string, D string, G string and the B string together. And then you gradually change to the B minor chord. Like that. So you start by adding this note on the 3rd fret of the B string. Then these two. And then finally the root note. So the whole thing sounds like this. So that's the whole chorus, I'm going to play the whole thing from the start, it sounds like this. So that's the whole song. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. All the tabs for this lesson are available on my Patreon page. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or requests for song tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.